Hello, good morning. Happy Monday, happy first day of the vlog. It is very bright outside. So let me put these shades on. I get a lot of questions about my shades, by the way. They're Key is the brand, Q-U-A-Y. The style is called After Hours. I'll find them and link them down below for you. I have this color, I have the matte black. I think this is my like second or third pair. Anyway, hello, good morning. It's about 7.30, I'm headed to the gym to do a little bit of a workout. I don't really have like a great workout plan in my head, like a, a good schedule. So I think today what I'm just going to do is walk on the treadmill. My goal would be 30, 45 minutes, do the little back massager. I've thought about reaching out to Carly, who I trained with for a while, y'all know that, and seeing if she would write me up a little plan. If I was smart, I would have been writing it down the whole time that I was working out and paying her, but we didn't do that. So I thought about getting her to write me up um, a little bit of a plan, but this week we're going to do workouts and some easy, like healthier dinner recipes. Recipes, they're more like recipes in my head, like things that we tend to eat pretty often actually. I do wanna find some good Pinterest recipes that I can link for y'all, because I think that's easier, like if you wanna save them and you know, look at them later than you can. So anyway, hello. Oh, this Wednesday, which I think, okay, hold on. Let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. This Wednesday, Brian got us tickets to go see the Molly Ringwalds, I think is the name of the band. It throws me off because I think of the actress when I think of that name, but um, he's a big fan. I needed to listen to some of their music, but they do like 80s cover songs and stuff, it seems like for the most part. So we're going to see that Wednesday. I think I'm going to film a separate get ready with me, like uh, hair, makeup, outfit, maybe a little bit, vlog a little bit of the, maybe not the show, I don't know if you're allowed to, but going, like getting in the building, like that sort of thing. So by the time that you're watching this, that should already be up. So I will link that for you down below. I'm just at the gym closer to me versus driving all the way. The one that I go to to meet Shelly and Destiny sometimes is a little bit further. I like it better, but it's just when all I'm doing is walking, I don't want to drive an extra 15 minutes. So we're here at this one. Let me get all my goodies together and let's go in and do a workout. You know, last week, the vlog I posted, well, this you're watching later, but the vlog I talked about the plastic surgery appointment and the BMI needing to lose weight and all that kind of stuff. I had quite a few people interested in that, which I'm not surprised um, because I know weight loss, how to lose weight, like that's a huge topic and it's a huge, I don't really, I don't really know the words, not market, but it's a, it's very popular. Like Mm, that's maybe not that maybe that's not it either a bunch of people are trying to lose weight basically is what I'm trying to say so I'm not surprised that y'all are interested in it I had quite a few people say to me hey I would love for you to share some of your tips and stuff like that and what you're doing and so I said yeah I can absolutely do that I I had a couple people ask me too what I plan on doing to lose weight calorie counting calorie in calorie out for me works the best with the exception of like crash dieting, which is not what I'm trying to do. And um, so that's what we're doing. We can talk more about it, I guess, if you're interested in all the macros, like fats, proteins, carbs, calories that I'm trying to hit every single day, weigh-ins. I don't know how often I would do that. Like right now, I'm just rambling at this point, but right now, I'm weighing myself every single day for one month just to get a good roundabout idea of how my weight fluctuates. And then after that, like as long as I know that I can meet my month, like monthly goal, then I'll probably weigh myself like once every couple weeks. Well, I don't know. Let me know if you want to see all that stuff. If you do, we can absolutely do that. I'm putting these AirPods in. I'm listening to, oh. Maybe I shouldn't do that yet. I'm listening to the Girls Next Level podcast. That's what I listen to when I work out. So am I filming this in the right thing? Oh my gosh, hang on. Okay, I am. For some reason, I thought that I was filming this in like cinema or slow-mo. All right, let's go. Let's go do this little walk. 
this is where I go to work out. If you work out here, there I am. Let's be walking buddies. little workout done that massage bed I need one at my house it's incredible it's called the hydro or hydra massage all right I need to run to the post office drop a couple of things off I found last night on TikTok a 100 calorie Starbucks drink that I thought that we could try together I don't know any of the other macros for it I guess I could put it in my Starbucks app and see what it says. But I know it's like sugar-free drizzle, but I will put down below what the exact, like what you need to ask for when you go. But we will taste it together. Also, if you didn't know, which you may already know, Starbucks has their bacon egg bites. They're incredible. They have quite a bit of protein in them as well if you're trying to reach a protein goal. So we're gonna do our drink, our egg bites, Okay, let me straighten you up. I just did like a little TikTok tasting this for the first time. It is incredible. I don't know what else to say. It tastes so good, but it still has that bit of a coffee taste to it, which is really, really nice. And then like I told you, I ordered these bacon egg bites. I will list her tiktok page down below i'll link it that way if you want to follow hello welcome back it's it's late i'm tired i'm hungry let's do the salmon so we have a couple pieces of just plain salmon and then this is that honey one i was telling you about so i'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on these and then i just added salt and pepper that's how we like our salmon this one i didn't touch so now i've had these potatoes in for about an hour so let's switch out Salmon is gonna go 450, let's say 15 minutes. I'll check the potatoes and see if they're done. If they are, I'll probably wait until the last minute or so and then put them back in just to keep them warm. Okay, listen, it's not pretty. I got hungry waiting on the fish and started on my potato. So this is the regular, obviously this is the honey glazed or bourbon honey glazed or something. So we're going to eat supper. I will see you in the morning and we'll talk about this. Hello, happy Tuesday. It took me a minute to get you situated in this little location. All right, it's about 8.20. I'm leaving the gym. I just walked today as well. I need to get my nail fixed. This one nail, okay? Oh, it hurt so bad last night. I was cooking dinner and pulled out one of those pans and it ripped and it hurts so bad. But I don't think the nail salon opens until nine and it's only 8.20. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. I totally forgot that we were supposed to first thing today talk about the salmon last night. It was bourbon glazed. That's what it was. Incredible. 10 out of 10. So good. He said that they also have, well, it was bourbon something. And then they have a honey something as well. The bourbon one, so good. I like the good old salt and pepper as well. But that bourbon, I think it was called bourbon glaze, so good. So we'll definitely be getting those from now on. Unless we just get the bags from Costco, which is fine. But I'm telling you, that was really good. Just got to the nail salon. This is the culprit that we're trying to fix. So this is the before. And we're fixed. We're good to go. They didn't even charge me for that. How nice. All right, so today is a work day for me. Tomorrow, Candace is coming over and we are gonna plan some outfits. We have a little trip coming up with my dad's side of the family at the end of the month. And so we're doing some fun things while we're with them. So we just, we just wanna make sure we have all the things that we need for that little trip. So tomorrow I will see you. We'll probably do lunch, no doubt, and then plan some outfits. Tonight for supper, we are doing, you know what, I'll show you a quick little montage of supper, and then you will see my face tomorrow.
Hello, good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is about 8.30. I am sitting outside of Target. I need some new shampoo and conditioner. My hair just feels a little bit bleh lately, like a little bit flat. So I'm gonna go in and get something else. I walked this morning, but I went throughout the neighborhood with Cash versus at the gym. I just felt like she needed a little bit of sunshine. I don't normally take her out for walks because there's a few dogs that roam the neighborhood and they're very large dogs, but I haven't seen them in a while. And I see other people in the mornings walking their dogs and they repeat the action. So clearly they, they don't feel like there's something going on that where they don't feel comfortable walking their dogs. So we went out this morning and she did so good. Um, I need to get a little roll of the like poop bags because I just took some like Target plastic bags with me this morning because I was unsure. She was, she didn't know, but anyway, I went and got my Starbucks drink, not my, the Starbucks drink again. Someone made a comment, I posted it on TikTok on Monday about how light it was and this one's not near as light. So let's see, but it's still good. All right, shampoo conditioner. Candace is coming over. We're planning outfits for this trip. And then tonight, Brian and I are going to a concert, which will be a separate Get Ready With Me vlog, like I've already mentioned. I will link it down below for you. So that's it. It's nice this morning. It's 71 degrees. I don't even need this AC on. It felt so good walking out there. So, okay, let's go, let's go shop. Okay, here we go. I tried this one time. Didn't love it, but should I try it again? Let me know. They have different lines for it. Well, these two rows. Let's go look at the other side. Here we are, the good old drugstore products. I love this. Like this works really well with my hair and you can get it in a two pack or a shampoo conditioner pack. So we'll think about that. I also really like this, the Aussie Moist line. I think we're gonna stick with the L'Oreal one. I haven't tried this in a long time. Sleek and Shine, Color Shield, Pure Moisture, Grow Strong, Curl Nourish. Ooh, Pure Clean, Silicone Free. And they have one that comes in a little two pack as well. Oh, for a bunch of the different. Okay, okay. Let's see, Anti-Breakage. That one might be kind of nice. Okay, now we're gonna stick with this one. But while we're here, we might as well go look at the clothes. Oh wait, I need some Claritin. Y'all know I love this color, like especially for fall. It's just a like seamless, is that what they call it? Seamless crop tank for 20 bucks. There's no padding in it, but I love that color. All right, let's take a look at the Future Collective line because I feel like it's cool things. We want cool things. Maybe I can find something cool for tonight or maybe not and that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that shirt so much. This looks like that pattern, sort of similar jumpsuit that I just tried on at Old Navy. This is a dress, like a midi style dress with pockets. This is that Knox Rose brand. I've actually really been liking it lately. Oh, this was the dress Candace bought. Remember we were here that time? She hated it. Um, but they do tend to have some really cute things. And then online, I think you can get actual plus size, but in my experience, sometimes the extra large or extra, extra large works for me. Look, they have these like moto bikerish looking jackets as well. It's like double, is that two in one? It is. Oh, that's a soft material. It's definitely not like a shiny faux leather for 45 bucks. This is really pretty too. It's very soft, very lightweight. And that cardigan is so cute. All right, let's get into actual plus size. The only brand they sell in actual plus size in store is Ava and Viv. Remember the pants? I'm so happy with them. This is kind of fun. Could that be cute with like a pair of jeans and some heels? The jeans I'll probably wear are a dark wash flare. Oh, they only have one size and it is a 1X. And then the black is not shiny. I don't think that's gonna work. 30% off jeans, pants, sweaters. Do we need any pants? High rise 90 straight. Those look like, hang on. These look like Abercrombie jeans, no joke. The wash, the style of them. 
for, let's see, their regular price, $35, and then they're 30% off. High rise, straight, hip, and thigh. But they have like mid rise, skinny, high rise, slim, straight. Ooh, with a little raw edge hem. Ooh, these have stretch. Yo, I found them in a size 20 regular. They're on sale for $10. Was 24, oh, was 35. Then the sale price is 24.50, but these for some reason are on sale for 10.50. Slim, straight, high rise, slim hip and thigh, 20 regular length. We'll take it. They're dabbling into the denim skirts. Oh, 17. Okay. We do have these shiny-ish type tops. That could be pretty with jeans. It's not on sale, it's 25 bucks. But this color is so pretty. My favorite sandals of life. On sale for seven bucks. Yeah, look at this. A New Day is the brand. They don't sell plus size in store, but it's a sequin blazer. The extra large is a little bit snug. So I'd probably need to get an actual plus size online. All right, let's do a little recap. Oh, I didn't even show you these. I got these. Really cute earrings, they were $12.99. And they're not heavy, but they're very fun. I got shampoo, Claritin, you saw that. And then I ended up grabbing the jeans, let's try them on. They rang up for $0, but unfortunately, which I expected, I could not have them for $0. So these are the slim straight, high rise, slim hip and thigh, in a size 20 regular. Let's put them on. Okay, okay. Also, the tag says no gap waistband. I feel that. I'm trying to get in a spot where you can see them. Sold. I like them. $10 jeans, are you kidding me? I am wearing a sports bra. So let's just keep that in mind. This is so cute. I love the flare sleeve. Oh, the size is like... Jackpot today for not trying anything on. See, this could be cute tonight with the flare jeans, heels, and the heart earrings. I forgot that I'm vlogging today. We're gonna go do a little shopping, but I forgot to show you the food. It's done, <laughs> we're about to leave. So we'll see you when this we- This is my taco. When we go shopping. I had, I had a chimichanga <laughs> with some rice and I already sent it. Oh, done, I'm it was, done. It was delicious. It was delicious. As per usual. I was surprised we're back at Target. How cute would this be under a graphic tee? I don't know if I love the mock neck but you would just see, you don't think so? You would just see the sleeves. I think it's theory, cute. I mean, I like the top. I don't know what I would wear it with though. Yeah, cause it is apps and you see straight through it. Candace likes these sweaters. <laughs> Are we surprised these cardigans? Remember I bought this one time and then there was a stain on it so I had to bring it back, but I think I'm gonna try the extra large. Yeah. yeah. Like you look like an old man. Oh, I was gonna say that. Here's the jacket. What do you think about in person? I love it. It's just not what I thought it would be. Yeah. But if you needed something else for like a dinner night, I think that kind of stuff is cute with like a graphic tee. Like I'm going to a business meeting, but at a disco ball. That's really fun. That is really fun. <laughs> Y'all, she's wearing a denim dress, like sleeveless denim dress. Okay, that's super cute. I'm going to say lose the sleeves. No shirt or yeah, I think you do it with no shirt. It's, a bit <gasps> short. it's so cute. Yeah, definitely without without something under it. Really? Yeah. I'll make it. Why? Cause you you always wear sleeveless stuff. Y'all, she sucked me into the cardigans. Look at this hot pink one. It is. Oh, her phone's ringing. Wild Fable, extra, extra large on sale for 21 bucks. It's like a three button. It's it's so cute. Okay, we're back home. We did go to Walmart. Candace, oh, you did get something. A top and some leggings. It's so bright out here. It is. Um, okay, that's it for today. Yeah, we had fun. Maybe we'll go again tomorrow. I can't even see it. It's I'm so trying bright. to get a Nike tracksuit. So is that what it's called now? A tracksuit or, or what is you call it? A, it? I call it a sweatsuit. A sweatsuit or a tracksuit. Good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. It's about 8.15. I'm sitting outside of Target, but I'm gonna eat me a little bit of breakfast first. I will, I'm filming a Target video for today. It's a little bit late. Like I'm filming it the same day that it goes up. So I'll link it down below for you, but let's chat. Okay, last time I saw you, Candace and I had hung out. We did hang out the next day and she got a couple of things. I didn't even show you. 
I should have shown you. All right, but that night we did filet with like roasted broccoli for supper. So good. So good. And then yesterday Brian was off, so we kind of shopped around for the day. And then last night we did Taco Bell for supper. And I, I tried their... Um, power bowl it's like a chicken power bowl and it was pretty good it doesn't look that great but it was pretty good i would nix i got no guacamole already and no tomatoes but it comes with like an uh ranch avocado sauce or like dressing i would get rid of that it was a little bit too sweet for me but it was pretty good if you're looking for something with a little bit more protein which i did get extra chicken even with extra chicken i think the protein was that like 30, maybe 35 grams of protein? Let's do a little bit of shopping here for a video and then I'll come back with you. I'm making like a stuffed shells supper. So I'll grab the few things I need here for that. And then we'll do a little dinner cooking tonight and then that's probably it for this vlog. So let me go in, try on some clothes. I'll see you at supper. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to supper time. Stuffed shells tonight. I've already browned my ground beef. I just threw these jumbo pasta shells in boiling water. These are the ones I ended up buying from Target. They don't seem very jumbo, but they're called jumbo shells. I just did one box because they're gonna expand a little bit and I want to make sure they have enough space in there to cook. And then this is the rest of the ingredients. Ricotta cheese, Parmesan, garlic, we have an egg. I meant to buy two regular marinara's and I got a sensitive one and a regular. Salt and pepper, we have Italian oregano, parsley flakes. I will link the recipe down below for you. This is my first time making it. So it may be a little bit wonky, but basically you get your little mixture of all your seasonings, your cheese, your egg, all of that together. I'm putting ground beef in my mixture. Once the noodles are done, stuff the noodles, put them in this nine by 13, pan down here, marinara on the bottom, on the top, cover with cheese, bake for 20 minutes. On each, or you just kind of stream it across just of a sauce. little bit, not covering it, smothering it. Is your Italian coming out? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, okay. so this is what the shells look like stuffed. Cheese, marinara on the top. Brian's reading the menu for next week. Uh, pop it in the oven for 20 minutes, we'll be back. Brian has given it the seal of approval for being finished. So we'll rate it in a minute. Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm sitting outside of Publix to go grocery shopping, but I need to, it's not Saturday. Oh my gosh, it's Sunday. I need to end this video here. So let's talk about the stuffed shells last night. 49 out of 10. So good. I am so proud of myself for making those. Granted, it's not like sauce from scratch, pasta from scratch kind of thing, but it didn't take me that long. It took about 45 minutes to cook the noodles, cook the meat, mix the ricotta cheese, stuff the shells like from start until it went into the oven about 45 minutes. And then I think we ended up baking it for probably 35 or 40 minutes. And oh my gosh, so good. So there's that. Um, I need to end this video here. I'm grocery shopping. I found six recipes on Pinterest for this week. I thought about doing a like standalone video for like Pinterest versus reality of recipes. But is that too many? Like, is that too much to watch of me just cooking every single day? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about that. All right, so we're going in, we're shopping. Thanks for watching this video. I made the mistake of wearing this Target pullover. It was 60s when I left the house. It's, a, it's high 70s, but it is what it is. I just ate me a Jimmy John sandwich in my car. It was top tier, so good. So now let me go grocery shop with everyone else in town because it's Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe. I know in the beginning I talked about, oh, we're going to do recipes. And then we really didn't. Like we kind of, we cooked together a couple of times, but it wasn't really all about that. Um, so let me know again, if, if cooking and like workouts are something that you want to see, if not, that's okay too. Next week we have, oh, okay. I don't know if you've noticed but we're slowly redoing our bedroom and we ordered all the furniture came from different places so like the dresser showed up and then the nightstands showed up and now the bed's showing up i have a mirror coming from anthropology like it's kind of a little bit scattered but the bed comes and i'm so excited so i figured that we would put that up together also i ordered a half wall for the shower in the hall bathroom Why'd that take me a minute to get out? Y'all know we've been needing to finish that bathroom for a minute. I also spray painted the 
little knobs. So I feel like next week's going to be a little home improvement update video. And that could be fun. I also have a hair appointment. I'm going. I have a list. I made it last, last night or yesterday. Yesterday. All the things that I need from the store to try out my new Pinterest recipes. All right. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.